he's no longer on the steering column. Blue instead of red. Got a little light there by the lock. Still manual, not, not automatic electronic locking seats. Got leather seats. Instead of having Litex drive cam, now we've got Omni tracks. Black View Petasoft. Oh boy. Looks like we can actually do manual mode in this one. Start her up once. Got an accessory off, run, and start. Very quiet. Here's your engine brake. At off, automatic, low, medium, high, and then if you really need to stop on a hurry, you push it down and that puts it on B. You can see right there in the left corner or the right corner. Nice. Def is at half. Turbo is using zero psi. Sitting at roughly uh, 700, if not 600 RPMs, and um, oil pressure's good. Primary and secondary air tanks did not lose any air pressure. Who knows how long it's been sitting? It is low on diesel fuel, and uh, got your applied air pressure gauge, which I'm going to press the brake, and you'll see it go up again. That's all the way pedal to the ground. Same, uh, same as the old VNLs. You got your city horn here or here, and then your air horn. Hmm. Yep, it does have an airbag. Just checking to see the sticker up here, and uh, I don't see the sticker where it says the next uh, time due for airbag servicing. LED lights. And then here you got a combination of either your cool white LED or at night you can get your red. There's blue. There's your red. And then here's your regular white. You got high and off. I guess there's no medium or low. And uh, it's one other thing I love about Volvo to change the um, to change your steering wheel. You can press that right there. Oh, holy moly! That must be air operated. Anyways, I'll do a little uh, vid tour here. You uh, see, I'm moving. As soon as I let off, it'll stop moving. <laughs> it's air operated. Tilts, telescopes, and all that good stuff. Okay, and then there's your wiper stock right there. Um, you pull up, and that, of course, washes it. And then uh, you got, you know, just a uh, a quick mist, you know, intermediate, and then that controls how often it does, it, and then low, and then fast. We've got your inter-axle lock, and then traction control kill, 
hill start override and then this is what you uh, uh, that's your uh, suspension to raise and lower it if you're hooking or unhooking what do we have here we got your outlet and USB I will shut down progress uh, let's uh, figure out how we can adjust the idle on this bad boy mm, I like that the uh, light switch is the same as the previous one So let's figure out how the heck we adjust the idle. Um, let's see here. Turn cruise on maybe. Nope. Distant alert. I'm not hitting, I'm not even moving guys. Got your light interrupter, your marker lamp interrupter. Um, hmm. Hey, there we go. Not sure what I did. Okay, I hit the cancel and resume. Okay, so I can't... Maybe I can. Yep. So, in order to do the high idle mode, you have to uh, first hit the... Uh, you have to hit the cancel or resume. Okay, what you do is you hit the cancel and resume, it kicks up your RPMs, and then if you want to lower it, you just toggle it down, or if you want to raise your RPMs, just move it up. And uh, this is to navigate your info center, you just, um, you know, there's your home button, and then you got left, right, up, down, and um, it's for your radio there. And um, it's your volume control. There could also be your tracks, uh, your seek track. I like how they kept the uh, climate control the same. I will admit, though, when turning the fan on and off when I first started the truck, a little bit hard to turn, a little sticky, but not bad. I'm glad that Dutchmade still decided to keep the uh, trailer handbrake. Uh, the Freightliner Cascadias that they have. Um, they don't have the trailer handbrakes as of uh, 2017s and newer. I don't know why. You, know, I mean, you can request to have it or you can request to not have it. I also love how Volvo has the brake and trailer brake hand valve. Not the hand valve, but the uh, knobs in the same spot where they've always had. I hate how like some trucks have their brakes all the way over there. And that, to me, is, is not cool. you got uh, cup holders you can add up to probably four. You know, one, two, three, four. Um, not a bad little cubby there. Got more outlets right there. And um, take my shoes off first. Pedals the same. And um, let's check out the back. We got two bunks here. Plenty of room for a uh, 860. Surprised they didn't decide to get the 860 with the uh, flip up table. You got your TV mount, so you can watch TV whenever you want. Just uh, flip it out, mount your TV on there, and boom, you got TV. You've got your coax for antenna, so you can do digital TV. And then you got your uh, outlet. Um, take a look at the cubby here. Really nice, nicely done. You got a little bar so you can hang your shirts and whatnot. You got an outlet right there. What's down here? Just another cubby. A little hideaway. A little pouch put papers in. Very nice. I love Volvo. A lot of people hate Volvo, but to be honest, at the end of the day, they're pretty nice trucks. People say they're unreliable. Or, you know, they're, you know, hate them like people hate Toyota. Oh, they're not American. They're actually made in, in America, as you can see right here. They're made in the United States, and if I remember, I think they're made in North Carolina. I can't remember, but when we get out, I'll show you. Because on the uh, door jam, it tells you where, which, which plant it was manufactured at. Got another little cubby here. What's this? 
Oh, it's the amplifier monsoon. A bunch of little space for all, any and all your nooks and crannies. Got oh, that's nothing there. Okay, not bad. Take a look at the Volvo paper. <laughs> Come on. Nice. So you guys get down for a second. Uh, picking you guys back up. Very nice. There's a uh, curtain, there's the uh, covers for the doors. Notice the passenger side doesn't have a sun visor, but the driver's side does. Ah. So even though I raised the RPMs, it's still programmed to shut down. What if I push in the brakes? Hope they don't start rolling. Yeah, we're moving just an inch. Okay, we're not moving. Still got my idle up. Yep. Got the brakes in. Now we'll see how long it stays running then. Got your CB hookup. Or you can put your CB up here too. Either or. I just love Volvo. I just love them. And down here you got your sleeper fan, sleeper light, auxiliary. You know, if you want to wire in the lights or something. And that's your defrost for the front windshield. You can see the lines right there. Pretty interesting right here. Normally we use Litex drive cam, but I guess this time we've got Omnitrax. I wonder where you hit a button if you need to record an incident like somebody's being a jerk to you. Interesting stuff. This right here is your lane Lane mitigation, it'll tell you if you're out of lane or not. Your lane departure warning. I like the seats. Not sure how I'd feel about leather though, but it is nice. Got a back cycler. I imagine the red button is for your heated seats, possibly. This fridge looks big, guys. Oh, wow, look at that. This is a pretty good sized fridge. Got a nice little freezer up here. Plenty of space. You don't have to worry about getting small half gallons. You can get a whole gallon container of milk in there and then other stuff. Pretty secure way to lock it, keep it from opening up. Nice little cubby there. Does feel a little bit cheap, but not bad. For a truck, you can't go bad, and I like the carbon fiber trim. The carbon fiber does look pretty nice. It's still got the plastic wrap on it, I'm not gonna mess with it. This is where you could put your microwave if you uh, have one. Um, it's another good question is where is an outlet? Yeah, an outlet's right down there, just like for the other one. There's your outlet. Very spacious, very, very spacious. And it looks like this right here could be your ladder for climbing up onto the bed. Yep, just like that, boom. Very simple. I figured it might have been a little challenging to set up, but uh, all you do is you set it right in between there, and uh, it's pretty sturdy. And you got a handle right there. I got this light. Whoo, that's bright. <clears throat> nice little cubby up there. Speakers, more stuff to put stuff away. Another light over there. Can take up to 250 pounds whether you put stuff on top of the bed or if you put somebody up there. Nice mattress, brand new obviously. Put this back up. Set you guys down, let you guys watch me close it. 
see here. Not sure if this is gonna work, but flipping you guys up. Here we go. Yeah, sorry. Just like that, you wrap the velcro around. Hey, there's my car. I like how you got a little window sill here. Windows open up pretty easily. That's cool. Emergency exit. Fully open window and kick glass forcefully above crank arms. So you gotta break that stuff if you're gonna get out in an emergency. <clears throat> so we got two power outlets, that's nice. Got a nice little cup holder right there. Sorry. Got a cup holder right there. Got two power outlets, a little cubby to put your change or whatever in. See how the panic goes. Yep, it's your regular panic button in case you get an unwanted uh, visitor. And then, not much has changed there. There's your little miniature light, LED. And uh, we use Thermo King um, diesel APUs, so that we don't have to idle our trucks. It uses less fuel, and it's, uh, it's good with the uh, laws over idling laws. And um, yeah. Beautiful lights. I just love these lights. I'm surprised they did blue though. That one's only blue. No red there. Um, check out the uh, light right there. Oh, it's beautiful. I just love LED lights. So, that's great. Um, get this cubby up here yet. Just more space. Make these trucks so you can live on them. Alrighty. Well, let's see here once. Yeah, this is a cover for the uh, visor at the top. Yep, sure enough. This is what you do if you're trying to put the shade over the top visor right there. Yeah, which this looks kind of funny. Something's wrong there. It's not pushed up like it should be. It's flexing downwards. So that's some sort of uh, design flaw there. Manufacturer flaw. That's what that's for. And then uh, just the uh, bed mattress protector for the pea sheet. Got two vents here. Another vent there. Check out this light blue as well and let's see if we can flip the bed up and uh, see about the underside the storage or what what's there eh. yep you flip it up like that don't see no prop to keep it up so you got to keep your back against it but for this side you got your spill kit your triangles and then there's your little diesel heater for the winter um, what else is that? Looks like a fusion relay box. Sorry, you guys couldn't see that. Let me get it so you can. A little fusion relay box right there against the wall. Cab power circuit. Gonna close this up. Got an outlet right here. And, uh, these two little knobby, knobby things right here is so you can put a little elastic band there, a little cargo net to keep stuff right in here. That must be a uh, vent. Check that out. Then we'll see what's on this side. This is where we have the blower motor, the cabin air filter, and then your Thermo King, um, part of the uh, tri pack APU. That's another filter. So there's one filter, the blue one, and then the white one right there. You got two different filters. One's for the truck, and then this one is for your uh, air conditioning tri-pack of your diesel APU. Got a speaker there, it looks like, right there. So that's pretty neat, but there's really hardly any, any space in these new trucks under the uh, 
bed. The older Volvos. Yeah, you don't even see the inserts. But huh. check on this side again. No speaker here. Only over there. Alright. I think that's a fairly decent tour. Got all these different switches here. Not much over here, everything's on the left side. I'm not sure what that knob is. Now we will go ahead and uh, shut it off, pop the hood, check the engine. Check out the delivery paper here. it I love the big mirrors I just like it I love the spot mirrors too I mean I'm a picky about what what I like for my design and views and I just love the, the design for Volvo Another cubby, I didn't show this one. It's not an opening, oh, that's why, because we got a lanyard right there. It doesn't open up far. These back. Uh, that, and that. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Seven speakers. Pretty surround sound if you ask me. These are Omni tracks right here. This is our electronic logging device. Our Qualcomm. Qualcomm, which is pretty much Omni tracks the same thing. Um, nothing special here. Unidentified. Whoever's been logged in, which nobody it says it's been on duty. Or it's actually status D driving. I wonder if that's because I've got the, the um, what do you call it, the tractor brakes pushed in. Oh well, whatever. They don't give us navigation, so we have to use our own GPS's. Set to power down after 20 minutes, tractor being off. Oh, so that's pretty neat to adjust it. Oh, and that's how you shut it off if you don't want air. You just move it all the way to the left. Everything's a little hard and sticky, so I mean, you'd want something easy while you're driving, but oh well. See how it feels once you put it in gear. It's on the brake. It's in drive. See about manual mode. Huh, yep. You can manually select the gears. I wish my truck had a manual mode. But, uh, I mean, it, it does have manual mode, but you cannot change the gears. It only puts it in hold when you put it in the manual mode. Let's uh, move it forward just a hair and see how it feels. Oh, wow, that feels nice. <coughs> Please log in a driver. <coughs> I'm just in love with it. Really nice truck. Um, not sure what that is. Yeah, if that's a heads-up display or what. But um, interesting nonetheless. And uh, we'll go ahead and shut her off. And uh, check the rest of the outside. I'm not sure what that green light there is for, but we got a little light inside there. And um, like I said, this is your light switch here. You got off, parking lights, uh, headlights, and then headlights, and then fog lights all the way. And then you got your dimmer switch, 
then you got your hazards and then uh, yeah we got it off Twenty nineteen Volvo V and L eight sixty. And that right there is your rear cab light. So you can see when you're hooking up the trailer at night. And your old famous hood latch makes it more secure. And I'm surprised they don't have the round plug. That's just your regular OBD2 port. If you ever get pulled over by DOT, you gotta show that you have this so you know how to operate it, or they can read how to operate it if you can't. Here's your pre-trip paper for pre-delivery, or actual your annual inspection report. Cool stuff. And then there's your IFTA tax paper for your fuel tax trade act. Fire extinguisher as usual. Let's check out the uh, cubby. <clears throat> well, I guess you gotta pull the latch and pull on it. There we go. Actually, it's fairly spacious in here. It's not too bad. Uh, right back there, you can see is our inverter. It's probably a 2,000 watt inverter. I'm just, uh, I just really love these trucks. I mean, what is there not to love? LED there as well. It's just awesome. Look at that beauty. Nice green Volvo D13. I'm surprised they don't have the uh, Volvo Power D13 like they do on the older Volvos. But, um, there she is, guys. Clean as can be. Everything's about the same. Really haven't changed anything up, it looks like. So, walk around, check the other side. still have it so you can uh, take off your side fender if you have to for servicing or whatever crazy other things you might need and uh, we try to be pretty safe so all we run is disc brakes front and rear we don't do drum brakes we do disc brakes look at that turbo look at that turbo Just clean, just beautiful. Cool, it's nice and topped off. Just like my other Volvo, everything's the same, nothing's really changed. I guess you can shut your water off, turn it on. The winter time depends. Uh, the latch has definitely changed though. Before the other ones had a round thing. So that's a little different. Very nice. I'll get up on the other side and get you the specs of the motor real quick. I don't want to step on the freaking lug nuts. It's so clean. Come on. There, maybe. That'll help you. Try and climb up here without getting the truck all dirty. Oh, I took my shoes off, so that shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. There we go. Much better. Yep. D13. Such a clean truck. Better. 
displacement is 12.8 liters. D13s are pretty good motors and not bad. Just love these trucks. Just love them. I'm gonna get off of here now. Mm. All right, it's enough of the engine. Take a minute and, and uh, admire these nice alloys, Alco polished rims. Beautiful. There's your cab power. If you're uh, at an idle air stop at a truck stop, you can take an extension cord and use the power from the truck stop instead of having to run off the APU and inverter. And right down there is the APUs on the driver's side, right under you. Very nice trucks. Gosh, 